Welcome back. After a major Supreme Court rule, uh, f uh, ruling rather affecting concealed carry laws in New York and the Senate voting to pass a major gun safety bill overnight, red flag laws are back in focus this morning. Our next guest says if this bill in the Senate does pass in the House and become law, it will lead to the illegal seizures of guns for many law-abiding Americans. For more on this, let's welcome an online opinion editor from the Washington Times and author of Lockdown, the Socialist Plan to Take Away Your Freedom, Cheryl Chumley. Cheryl, welcome back to Wake Up America. Good morning, guys. Thank you for having me. Of course, I do want to first get your reaction to the news out of the Supreme Court striking New York gun laws. Obviously, positive news for, for people who want to carry a gun in, in New York. It is good news. And um, actually, it was a common sense ruling. And the thing that was surprising to me that it was 6-3, it seems to me that sometimes Supreme Court justices should be able to find common ground. And it, to me, this should have been a 9-0 ruling. But the fact is that we have a very politicized climate over the Second Amendment right now. And a good thing for Donald Trump being able to get some Supreme Court justices. That's all I can say. So can you break down this, this Supreme Court ruling, six to three, striking down that, that New York handgun law? Basically, this just means that law-abiding gun owners in the state uh, and in New York City will now be able to carry their guns legally without crossing, uh, uh, having to clear a second hurdle after being licensed and taking the appropriate courses and everything like that. What, what, what's the big problem with that? Why is the left so against that? Well, the left, of course, has been attacking the Second Amendment for years, right? Because the left believes that average American citizens should not have the God-given right to defend self and family, that that sort of protection should be given just to select few. And if you look at the hypocrisy of those who fight against the Second Amendment rights, they're usually surrounded by armed guards or they go to work that are uh, places of work that are protected by armed guards, and they go home to gated communities that sometimes have armed private security. Mm -hmm. So it's very hypocritical, but the fact is founding fathers underscored a right that was already inherent with citizens, the idea that you have the actual right to protect yourself and family yourself. Yeah, and Cheryl, interesting enough, some of these states that have the strictest gun laws have the highest crime. Uh, you, you recently wrote an op-ed explaining how red flag laws will lead to gun confiscations. Uh, it's a strict misstep against our Second Amendment. What can you tell us about this? Well, I just think red flag laws completely dismiss the idea of due process in the Constitution. And you can make a case that certain people should not be allowed to carry because of their mental issues. And that is certainly a case that you can make in court. But the idea of watering the Second Amendment by randomly applying red flag laws and leaving uh, uh, law-abiding citizens vulnerable to government bureaucrats to basically take them to court and allow a judge to strip them of their God-given rights is horrifying to me. And the fact is, if we want to fight crimes of firearms or crimes of gun violence in this nation, we need to start addressing the roots. We need to start going after things like broken homes, fatherless homes, and so forth, because most of the shootings that take place in America, especially the school shootings, the common denominator here is that they come from broken homes, and the cultural degradation is what... Yeah, is mm. that's certainly a part of this. And we brought this up earlier. You know, President Reagan used to say, I'd rather have 80% of something than 100% of nothing. Um, 15 Senate Republicans voted in fa favor of that package last night. It'll go to the House floor this morning, so there's going to be a showdown uh, in, in Congress almost about an hour and a half from now. Nancy Pelosi wants a vote on this uh, around 9 o'clock Eastern. Um, this bill addresses uh, red flag laws, and, and, and many Republicans, especially the 15 that voted in favor, say this is a step in the right direction. What do you make of that? Well, I disagree. I, I wholeheartedly disagree. And I find it very uh, shocking that so many Republicans in the Senate would sign on to red flag laws. These are not common sense provisions that will protect American citizens. These are concessions to the far left and very angry and loud base of the Democrat Party that is petitioning in the streets right now and using emotion to push forward legislative agendas that they have 
uh, desired for years. So the Republicans who are taking this step to support red flag laws, I hope voters in their states sit up and take notice and remember yeah, this. I, I think Allison and I were talking, I think it would be nice to have hearings on something like this, much like we're having with January 6th, so we can hear from everybody and yeah. everybody can have an opinion before we pass, you know, a bill, something we haven't seen since 1993. It's an 80-page bill, too, so you have to wonder if they're all reading through it. <laughs> Cheryl, Cheryl Chumley, thank you so much for joining us and have a good weekend. Thanks, Cheryl. Hey, I'm Rob Finnerty. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please join the conversation in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe too. Hit the bell icon to be alerted to breaking news. And remember, there's a whole lot more on Newsmax TV, America's fastest growing cable news network. Newsmax TV, where real news for real people.